Hi everybody, just a very quick video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D that is going to help us create geometry from one part of our model and regenerate or articulate it such that we can display it in another part of our model. Specifically going from more of a plan view to a profile view. Let me explain. I've got a portion of my model that's been laid out here on the bottom that I've got some parcels laid out as well as a horizontal alignment and existing ground is represented by these contours here with my surface. I've got the same alignment represented in a profile view cutting through that existing ground surface and displayed up here on top. What I would like to do is to be able to perhaps identify or locate points within other parts of my model such that I can see those or represent those in the profile as well because right now the profile is really only showing what's going on with the existing ground elevation at the center line of the road. So we can use this tool or this transparent command for many different things. We'll, we'll look at one application today. I would maybe like to see what the elevation is at the back of the lots here in, you know, and, and how it relates to the elevations at the center line. All right, once again, I can only see what's, uh, what's being identified uh, with the profile as far as what's going on at the center line here. I'd like to quickly incorporate what's going on in the back of the yards. So I'm going to use the transparent command SSE. So we'll put an apostrophe in front of it, SSE, which means we'll select a surface. We'll select then a station and an elevation will be read from that surface, and that point will be transferred automatically into the profile view of our choice. So let's uh, execute a command that would ask us to identify a point. So this works with pretty much any command that will ask us for a point. We'll say create line, uh, specify uh, first point. I'm going to say apostrophe SSE. Uh, Civil 3D will then ask us to identify a profile view, which I'll select here. Next, it's going to ask us to select a surface. I'll grab the existing ground surface here. It's the only surface I have. However, I could select a proposed ground surface or maybe a composite surface. So the, the surface of our choice. And then we can start selecting points within our model. And then it will automatically read the station and elevation of the surface and start to create a line based on those points within our profile. So let's pick some points along the back of the lots here. We'll go ahead and select an endpoint. Come over and select an endpoint here, and as we pick those uh, points within the model, we can see it's automatically being created within our profile view. All right, now some folks may take a look at this if we were going to create it, and uh, you know I can uh, project another alignment into the profile. Um, you know that that could be done as well. In my particular case, I'm grabbing points along the back of the yard to identify these uh, identify these points, which once again could be defined as alignment. But uh, I could be picking corners of uh, houses to see building pad elevations as it relates to the center line. I could be um, creating if I want to show a light pole or something like that that from within my model in my profile view exactly where that's going to be located, station and ele elevation wise. All right, so very very quickly. The, uh, the tool allows us to, uh, to create this geometry so that as we uh, continue to pick our points, what I wanted to be able to see is that, uh, you know, basically the back half of my lots, the elevation is greater than that of the center line. So right now from a drainage standpoint, I would have uh, drainage coming from the back to the front that I would need to uh, either incorporate or take into consideration as I move forward with my project. All right, so once again, a tool that can be used a number of different reasons. Uh, however, if you have points in plan view that you would like to identify in a profile view, and basically all you need is a, uh, the profile view itself, a surface, and an alignment that uh, is represented in the profile view, and we select our points, and whether it's uh, creating a line or creating a block or whatever the case may be, the apostrophe SSE command will help us do that very quickly. So hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.